thank you everyone for your interest in Cummings Properties and for watching our brief video. With a focus on ideally located suburban venues, our Cummings Properties headquarters is directly adjacent to the intersection of Interstates 93 and 95 in Woburn. As President and CEO of the firm, Dennis Clark heads a team of eight executive officers, each of whom has an average of 23 years experience in their roles. Cummings property started with a single 6,000 square foot building in Woburn and two leasing clients, and now it's grown to encompass a portfolio of more than 10 million square feet, providing business homes to more than 2,000 different organizations of all types. With 3 million square feet of prime commercial real estate in Woburn, and a total of 11 million square feet in 11 Eastern Massachusetts communities, Cummings Properties now serves almost 2,700 widely diverse commercial real estate clients. This is a view of our most recent Woburn building at Trade Center 128. We serve dozens of clients in small spaces of under 500 square feet, but our largest single client is the Middlesex County Superior Court with 150,000 square feet, serving its 12 courtrooms at Trade Center in Woburn. For more than 10 years now, most Cummings Properties buildings have been wholly owned by Cummings Foundation. Through their foundation, they've provided homes for local seniors, and they've provided millions of dollars annually in critical funding to nonprofits. Many people don't know that a majority of the buildings that Cummings Properties manages are actually owned and operated for the sole benefit of Cummings Foundation. 100% of the leasing profits go to charitable causes through the foundation. Cummings Foundation has donated more than $140 million to greater Boston nonprofits alone. Bill and Joyce know what it's like to start small and now they're relishing at the opportunity to provide critical funding to these developing nonprofits. Their good work can impact more people. Thank you to the Cummins Foundation. We got it as far from the start. We want to say thank you to those who trusted us and are investing in our work because you are helping us change the trajectory of the lives of young children everywhere. Thank you. Thank you. Express Yourself is an arts immersion program for youth at risk and specifically with kids with mental illness. What I'm particularly struck by is a lot of services that you would never imagine that you'd have before. If it snows, the plowing is amazing. If anything happens in your studio or your space, they're taking care of it immediately. The company's other major operations center is at Cummings Center in Beverly, Massachusetts. Here in Beverly, we have another 2 million square feet of fine space for executive offices, government offices, marketing, medical services, scientific and business research of all types.
We also have our Dunham Ridge site in Beverly with five magnificently fully prepared raw building sites. In addition, there is a brand new five-story central parking garage The company also designs all aspects of its new buildings from the ground up with its own incredible full-time in-house architects and designers. Our 370 highly experienced staff are here to serve your every need. They average more than 11 years each of hands-on full-time experience. Altogether, the total longevity of our full-time in-house staff totals just slightly more than 4,000 years. My name is Martha Farmer. I am the president and CEO of North Shore InnoVentures. There are some things here that are really quite special. There are a number of labs that were already built out. We were able to grow into larger space. And when we needed more space, we were able to get more space. We have grown here because Cummings makes it possible to grow here. We are definitely happy Cummings clients. People come in and they notice that it's just kept up well. There's all sorts of offerings that really are attractive. My name is Leonard Sosinski, and 40 years ago, I started my own business, brought my son into the business with me. The highlights of our professional and personal lives was this fall. Got a call from Bill Cummings and Dennis Clark. They'd like to have lunch with us to celebrate our 40th anniversary here in the park. And we thought that was a wonderful gesture. I was standing next to Bill Cummings, uh, and he said, what do you think we should call this little park we were standing in and I said I don't know he called Brian over and Brian and I stood together with Bill and he took the cover over the sign and I looked and I saw it said Sosinski Park. Dedication of Sosinski Park here in West Cummings Park. I had tears in my eyes. Literally blew us away. One of the nicest honors that could be bestowed upon our business, our family, so meaningful. It's a legacy I couldn't be any prouder of. Bill Cummings done, has done a million nice things to everybody, but this is one of the nicest things. And he, he, I think he gave me this chair too. He, he did give me this chair that I'm sitting in. <laughs>